Hi everyone, welcome to episode 10 of my travel activity show. We're in double digits now, so exciting. And that's why the um, anniversary episode will be about New York City, because that city is amazing and it's great and it's just something you definitely have to see. So I was there in 2016 um, and I was not yet 21 at that time so there was not a lot of things that I could do I was very limited when it comes like when it came to drinking and going out also accommodation was quite hard to get uh, when you're under the age of 21 and that's why um, I didn't do a lot of things also because I was at that time not really how would you say I was not really experience when it comes to single traveling or traveling without your parents so yeah I didn't have a clear plan and that was that was probably my first mistake when going to New York because you definitely have to know what to do there and yeah that's why I definitely want to go there again and today I want to show you one thing that I did that I really enjoyed and will definitely recommend you and two things I will definitely do next time when I go there and also I think today we don't need any basic information about the city because it is known worldwide so you know what how big New York City is how diverse how unique so let's dive right in, into the travel activities okay so the first activity is the one that I did myself and whenever I travel to the US I always went to a um, sports event so in Portland from the first episode I went to a Timbers game which was soccer in Los Angeles I went to see the LA Kings which is ice hockey um, my favorite sport to watch it's yeah just got so much action I love it and in New York I went to see a Yankees game because yes Yankees super popular baseball was the first thing I, I watched in the US and that was such a cool thing because when you go to a sports event in a foreign country you really get to know a different kind of culture because it's and that was so surprising to me because it seemed so much like an everyday thing to do you go there after work you go there you know just casually on a Tuesday night that was really new to me because in Germany sports events are a little bit different I would say so yeah, definitely go to a sports event. Yankees was very, very good. Also, I had a travel fail there because um, the weather was not really good. Super cold, rainy, like I was drenched, really not nice. So I left early thinking the game was already over anyways because the Yankees um, were not that great uh, until I left. And after that, I found out that they actually won. Right after I left, they had a home runs, I think even multiple ones um so yeah that was that was like kind of a trail fair i just yeah i didn't stay and that was that was kind of sad but i know for next time to always be there until the end so now comes one of the first things that i want to do when i go back there and that is to go to the famous smorgasburg in brooklyn um smorgasburg is the large largest weekly open air food market or even market in the entire like continent of America and it started in Williamsburg Brooklyn and yeah weekly means every day you can still go there and check out the original market because there are also um, other markets going on even in Los Angeles they expanded until Los Angeles so but yeah I definitely want to go to the original one and um, and uh, actually was labeled as the Woodstock of eating by the New York Times so I just assume that I will find a lot of food places so many cool new upcoming restaurants maybe who are trying to see what people like and maybe also a little bit cheaper so you can you know try and have all the little like sample size meals and yes I already I'm already getting hungry thinking about it. And the other thing I definitely want to do when going back is to take a stroll down Bleecker Street in Greenwich Village. It's supposed to be a paradise for all food lovers as well. And there are, I mean, just what I read and what I heard, there are so many Italian restaurants, but also cool bars and nightclubs and everything. So it seems that this is where the life is really going on and where you can really spend hours and just having fun. And just a little hint to all comic and movie lovers, also parts of um, the Spider-Man movie were filmed there. So just go to John's Pizza and you'll probably recognize the area if you watched that movie. And yeah, just munch your way all through the street, I would say. 
And that was it for this week. I'm really looking forward to go to New York City again. I hope you feel the same. Actually, on German Trip, we have several New York trips online at the moment. If you want to learn more about photography in New York, go check it out and go book your spot there. It's, it's going to be amazing, I assume. Also, if you want to plan a trip yourself, go ahead and do that on our platform. I will be the first one to request to join, I promise. So have a great weekend and see you next week. Thank you.